Hello friends, I am Amit Kumar from Smash the Shell and in this video tutorial I am going to show you how to create a responsive image gallery using HTML5 and pure CSS3. While creating this gallery project you are going to learn a lot of things. You are going to learn how to use media queries and CSS3 calc function effectively to calculate the width of these images based on their parent element which is uh, section element okay and you will also learn how to make them responsive so that they can respond to the browser's viewport size okay so they will change their size uh, layout according to the browser's viewport size so i gonna use two to three media queries in this project and let me show you guys this is our final project so when i resize this uh browser viewport you can see that they are changing their layout based on the browser's viewport size okay so this is the final project that we are going to build in this tutorial okay so and some other things that you are going to learn in this video tutorial are you are going to learn how to generate image thumbnails using photoshop and in photoshop we are going to use photoshop actions so that we can automatically generate the thumbnails for all of our images okay so at the end of this course you will be able to create your own image gallery and you can also apply the knowledge that you are going to learn from this video tutorial to your own projects okay so if you are not familiar with html5 don't worry it is going to be very easy and uh, and if you are familiar with basic css3 it's going to be fun you are going to create this image gallery without lots of complications it's very easy to create so let's get started first of all i am going to minimize this final project and now going to go ahead and open my photoshop application here you can see that uh my photoshop application has been opened now let me show you where are our images that we are going to use in our gallery project so you can see that i have this image folder img folder and we have 12 images uh, these are the high resolution images you can see that it's about 469 kb here and what I am going to do, I am going to open this file into Photoshop and change its size and save it. And then record those actions using Photoshop actions. And then we'll apply that action to all of our images so that all these images are automatically get resized and thumbnails will be generated and saved automatically. Okay, so let's see how to do that. Minimize that go to window click on this actions or press alt f9 and here you can see that i have already created thumbnails but let's delete that here just click on this set and name it as thumbnails okay and hit okay just go ahead and click on this icon which is action icon give it resize name and start recording and now go ahead and click on this file menu then choose this open option and select this file image here and open now we are going to go ahead and click on this image and then I gonna click on this image size and here I gonna give it a size of 250 by 167 pixels and just hit ok press ctrl 1 to see it at 100% zoom and now let's go ahead and choose save as option from file menu and save this file into this 
empty thumb folder and name it as thumb one and its file format should be jpeg and hit save now hit ok and then stop this recording here by clicking on this icon here and go to file menu again choose this automate and then click on this batch option and here you can see that we have this dialog box open here now select thumbnails from here and action should be resize and now choose the source folder which contains all of our images so I gonna choose this image folder where all our images are lived so choose that and then click on this override action because we have already performed that action in our previous steps okay and we are not going to include our subfolders and just click check these two dialog boxes and again here inside right hand side uh, choose this destination folder uh, for me it's thumb hit ok then check this override action save as command because we have already performed that too and then give it a name of thumb here from here select a digit serial number and select extension from here okay and just hit okay and you will see that all in converted into thumbnails automatically and automatically get saved so this is the quick way to create image thumbnails of lots of images okay so i'll show you the final results we have 12 images so they will be converted to thumbnails so wait a while now all the images are converted into thumbnails and saved into the destination folder so let me show you that there here you can see that i have thumb folder and there we go we have 12 thumbnails here which are generated automatically by photoshop by using the photoshop actions okay so guys in the next video i'm going to show you how to use these images to create image gallery and then we'll look at how to lay out our image gallery using html5 and we'll also look at how to use css3 to create that image gallery for now if you like this video please hit like and subscribe to my channel if you already haven't subscribed yet and if you have any curious suggestions please drop a comment i'll respond as soon as possible bye bye take care see you in the next video